hey guys welcome back to tech love by chetan ashnuri i'm and i am back with another video and today i'm going to show you how to get the three minute mod on any android device running any rom out there so it is an easy thing to do but it is lengthy you have to do a lot of steps to get it working so first of all what you're going to do is you're going to have to have a application like root explorer in which you can go in the root of your device the root storage of your device and copy some stuff out of it so first of all what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in root explorer the root explorer application right over here and i'm using the odex light rom on the galaxy s6 edge right now and it is an amazing rom as far as i've used it right now if you want to check out how to install the odex light rom on your galaxy s6 edge link to the video will be right over here please do check it out and you will get an amazing rom on your device so first of all what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in the system of your device so you're gonna have to go into the root of your device so as you can see it says root over here so you're gonna go over here then you're gonna go in systems so system let's go into it and you're gonna go in framework and you're gonna swipe down and you're gonna see this file over here the framework rest.apk let's just copy that into the uh, storage of a device let's copy it and it is copied now so let's go back to the framework folder and we're gonna go back to the system folder so let me show you that i'm going back to the system folder as you can see i'm in the root of my device then i'm gonna go in system and then i'm gonna go in private apps so it's brave hyphen app so we're gonna go into it and then we're gonna go in system ui and it should be below over here so system UI, then you're going to copy this file over here, the system UI APK. Copy this into the your normal storage that you can connect to your PC. Once you have done that, we're going to move over to the laptop now. So I've already downloaded the files and there's a problem with the download link in the XJ developer page. But I will provide you with the download link down in the description. Just download the file from down in the description and you will be golden. And don't download the version 4.1. It gives you a little bit of problem. So I've uh, found the version 4.2 and it is working great. So uh, we're going to go in the advanced APK tool. So first of all, copy those files in this in folder over here. And once you extract out the advanced APK, tool you will get these folders don't worry about it the advanced apk tool comes with these folders in it so you're just gonna copy these files in the to hyphen in folder and then you're gonna open the advanced apk tool and you're gonna select one to install framework which is really important you're gonna select the framework rest apk yes and you're gonna install this so it is done installing now and you're gonna press enter then you're going to go back to the main menu and to do that we're just going to press x so doing that and then you're going to decompile the files that we have put in the in folder so press 2 over here and we're going to decompile the system ui apk so press 2 once again we are sure that we want to do this so why and it is now decompiling the files So it is done now and we're going to press enter once again and then we're going to go in this out folder go in system ui then res then here in layout then you're going to search for a file named status underscore bar dot xml so here is the file and you're going to open it with the notepad plus plus and this is because notepad plus plus is an easier application to see these kind of codes so link to the notepad plus plus will be down in the description go and download it so we're gonna go in the notepad plus plus and we're gonna search for something called id plus so let me just copy this from here this is the forum of the three minute mod search for it and if it is not there then you're gonna have to search for another file if you are a samsung user it might be by the name tw underscore status bar and it might also be by the system icons.xml and you're going to open this and you're going to search for the same thing away so if you don't find this code in both of the files what you're going to do is you're going to remove this angular bracket from here then search again so as you can see i found this 
this is the one over here so what you're gonna do is first of all you have to change this so as you can see in the next line it says after that it will say this wrap content and all in samsung it might say a little bit different as mine does so you're gonna have to replace the layout underscore width with 0.0, .0 dip and the height with that as well so we're gonna search for it after that as you can see here's the layout width and we're gonna change it to 0 dot zero dip and i forgot to tell you guys please make a backup of these two apk files if anything goes wrong you can put those apk file back in and your device will work perfectly so do that so now we're gonna change the height as well over here 0, 0.0 dip right so it says 0, 0.0 dip and we have done that over here right after this line we have to put in one more line which is this one over here copy this line and paste it right under it and save this once you have done that we have to extract out the three minute mod zip file and there would be these three small i extension files copy this go in this uh, and come out system ui.apk then go in smally then go in com android system ui status bar policy and paste it over here so i've done that and it was that easy now what you have to do is you have to recompile this apk file so come out as to avoid any problem that might happen and let's recompile the file press 3 system ui.apk and you have to select recompile and then sign press 2 and yes so it is now recompiling the file so guys it has done recompiling the file and enter to continue then press x to come out then what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy the system ui.apk in your phone so this is my phone over here i'm just gonna copy it and i've already already have a system ui.apk over here and then i'm gonna copy this one over here i'm gonna replace that one for being sure let's just copy once again and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna select these two apk files over here copy those and your device one as well so let's move on to the device now so moving on to the device now let's just remove it from the pc and we're gonna go in my files now so first of all what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in internal storage and i'm gonna select this three minute battery setting apk over here install this done and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come out open the application once and press ok let's just come out once again now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in the application that is like the root explorer or the root explorer itself go in the storage copy this uh, three minute battery resource over here into the system so guys it happened again my camera didn't record once again and i did the whole process so what you're gonna do is first of all you're gonna go in the storage you're gonna copy this three minute battery resource copy this go into the root then system then Brave hyphen app paste it over here then you're gonna go for this file over here go in settings select permissions and the permission should be the owner should be able to read and write and the group and other should be only able to read so okay now what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy this new system ui.apk copy this from over here and go into system Brave app then system ui and once you do that let me just copy it over here copy it over here and once you do that your ui might crash and that is a good thing and you're gonna restart your device for that once you have restarted your device you will get that uh, three minute mod over here and let's wait for the device to boot up so 
so the device booted up and as you can see i have the three minute mod now and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in the battery battery over here and you can select these from here and you can also purchase the paid application which has a lot more over here so you can select more battery mods over here from different authors and all so it downloads from the net and you can just swipe away and find the one you want so let's go into colorable there's one that I really like and let's go down and this one is the one I really like this let's apply and store so guys as you can see I got this bar over here and you also are getting this uh, Samsung's 86% and the battery icon over here which you can disable from the settings no worries about it just go into settings and disable it. So guys that was the process and it is really easy but it is lengthy you have to do a lot of steps in it. Just follow the process and you will get the working 3 minute mod on your device and that is just great. So I think that's it. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and thanks for watching guys